For 15 years, Hong Kong's pop culture in the form of music, movies and TV has been developing across the border on the mainland. Cooperation between TV and movie companies is growing, with many mainland stars starting to work in Hong Kong. Now, Xie Sisi reports on the interaction in the film industry and its role in promoting cultural understanding. Nowadays, more Chinese mainland elements can be seen in Hong Kong movies. And one very big element is the actors. Closer cooperation across the border is transforming the sluggish Hong Kong movie business. Hong Kong box office figures show that mainland accounts for almost 70% of its revenue. Mainland China is now proving to be a fast-growing market for Chinese language movies. At least six or seven of the top ten box office hits for Hong Kong movies were co-productions. So this really has given a tremendous boost to the industry in Hong Kong. The 2003 Closer Economic Partnership Agreement, or CPAC, is the first free trade agreement ever concluded by the mainland in Hong Kong. Noted Hong Kong actor and film producer Raymond Wong praised the benefits from CPAT and expects more to come. CIPA has created a win-win situation. The opening up of the mainland market gives us a lot of more opportunity because the market is enormous. And it has not recognized its full potential yet. It is also a challenge. We have to examine the way we make our movie. Uh, the pack also makes possible more car productions, creating more talent resources and viewing facilities. Co-production choose the best movie star from both the mainland and Hong Kong. It is also a great way to spread a new talent in the movie industry too. Wang also says there are some sentiments in Chinese films that may inspire Hong Kong audience. <laughs> Movie is a very important part of culture, and culture is always a bridge linking people from Hong Kong and Chinese mainland. It is the best way for people to get to know each other and understand each other more. Only it takes time, and 15 years is just a beginning. CCTV Hong Kong.